Uh, it's Rich Lit Tower. Yeah. Uh, Lit Tower. Okay. Yeah. L I T T A U E R. I, I arrived at the scene as a guy was coming up with her phone trying to get help. Okay. So I put my surfboard and bag down and, and walked over, ran and walked fast over to see if I could be helpful. But there was already a crowd of people around him working on him, right. who were local people. They were there at the beach, um, and they were trying to stop the blood and arranging to carry him. So Did you uh, there were two boogie boards that were there. Um, a lot of blood in the water, right. and uh, his. His brother was uh, having some shock problems, so I asked some people to counsel with him because he was having some issues with you know, the scene. It was tough. It's a hard. It's a very hard thing, yeah. and very sudden. So uh, I helped the lady. I told her to come up to the parking lot and use Verizon phone to reach uh, 911, which they did. And while I was there, uh, the uh, a couple, la three lifeguards came down, mm -hmm. as well as other surfers and people to be helpful. But the three lifeguards uh, were amazingly helpful. From they're wealthy people, they're off duty, but they're always on duty. If someone in need, they come. Yeah. So there was Eric Anderson and uh, lifeguard Nina, and um, Adriana, who was one of the Picarello girls, and they were amazing. They did CPR. They did what they could. They were taking pulse. They were uh, Eric was working on the, a bunch of tourniquets to stop any blood that was left. You know, I see that you're yeah. a surfer. And, yes. Um, is this um, is this event or? Um, you know, cause you to think about um, surfing in the future around here, or how do you feel about uh, that? I do different forward? things in my life. Uh, most of them are somewhat of an adventure, and this particular one is learning surfing. Mm -hmm. So I took it up last year. In August, I broke my board, uh, my wrist on my skateboard, so I had to take a break for a while. Right. But I'm new. But it's something I do for my health to work on balance because mm -hmm. I'm on Medicare and I'm older. You know, I'm a senior citizen. Yeah. Uh, but very healthy. So. Um, I do it for balance, exercise, upper body strength, uh, coordination. I'm doing quite well. Hey, I had a ride on an overhead wave yesterday. It was amazing. Wow. So I just got a new board from Sean Beck. Here it's a blue one and um, long board. So I had a great session this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. But I think it's good to surf in groups. Right. Generally. Or in if the waves are small, in shallow water. Okay. Uh, like waist high. Right. Um, yeah. So this isn't going to so, change your surfing well, habits at all? Uh, we'll see. I'll have to think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got this BMW coming forward. Uh, Lit Tower. L-I-T-T-A-U-E-R. I was walking down the beach to surf down there because there's a really good break down the beach and then a little bay there. And I was greeted by a, a woman running with her cell phone. It's so long since this has happened as far as, I mean, I know we just had a shark attack before it turned yeah. out to be deadly. Yeah. And for like the surfing community of people down here, I mean, how is yeah. that? Well, what's amazing, this is a really cool community. It's really, the people pitch together to help. And we, actually, the, there's a three um, off-duty lifeguards. We don't have lifeguards in here. But they were here at the beach, so they ran down, and they were amazing. And they were doing CPR, and did all they could to save him. Um, and then Eric was doing Eric was doing tourniquets on both legs because he was hit in both legs, which was pretty bad. So um, there's a lot of blood. He was, he was in shock. He's a really good body child, body. I've seen him in the way he was like a surfer, out of the bigger waves. So, there he was. So. Now when you do that, with your body boarding, you know, as far out as you guys can go Well, they were, he was, I thought, I thought they were surfing down there. I don't, I try to surf in groups these days, and that's why I saw a couple of people down, so I thought they were down there. So, anyway. Yeah. It was an eventful day. Uh, eventually, the EMP did come, and uh, about the defibrillator. Yeah. I mean, does it make you think too much? Uh, what do you do? Sit on the beach and do nothing? We need to eat our exercise, we need sunshine, we need our health, otherwise we'll die in the chair. I try to stay in shape. Marshall's got a way to go. But you're all in. Good.
Yeah. 